What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today I have some very exciting news about a couple of tweaks and updates coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare that are some of the biggest gripes and complaints we've had as players since the game was released. So today, we're going to be discussing all of this, plus a couple of other future updates I'd like to see, and so much more. So earlier today, Joe Seacott tweeted out some of the stuff that the dev team is currently looking at, and I'm actually very, very happy to see that the devs are already creating more interaction with the fan base, and it's barely even the first week of the game's release, so big thumbs up to you guys with that. Um, but with that being said, on screen are some of the things that is being looked into, and they are as followed, which are footstep audio, claymore interaction and feedback, player battle chatter in one life modes, and finally spawn. So like I said, a lot of these issues issues are some of the main complaints with the game. The footstep audio is honestly the loudest I can recall in any Call of Duty game. Like if you're not using a headset then I, I kind of do feel bad for you guys because um, the headsets really do help you guys out with hearing exactly where the enemy team is. Like the footsteps are that loud. You can kind of predict when the enemy team is going to be running towards you or exactly where the player is and their every movement. So footstep audio definitely does need to be lowered by a little bit I'm not talking about a whole lot like it was in the beta because you couldn't really hear any footsteps at all in the beta but in in the final release of the game you can hear literally everything so hopefully they can find that happy middle in between footstep audio and then the claymore interaction and feedback definitely claymores need to be looked at because they are very very hard to see in the game like I am constantly getting killed by them and I've seen a ton of funny clips online of people just opening doors and they just get blown up or they're just going to be running across a street and then a claymore happens to be there but it's so hard to see that so claymores do need to be a little bit more um, interactive and just I guess more visible to the eye um, player battle chatter for sure needs to be looked at because the player battle chatter is very very loud it honestly does kind of give your position away because um, you can hear that audio coming in from another team or an enemy player and you know that you're being spotted by them so you're going to be on alert it's honestly kind of unfair so definitely the player battle chatter needs to be looked at and in competitive modes I feel that there shouldn't even be any player battle chatter at all so um, maybe in custom games there could be an option to disable that I don't know um, but those are just my thoughts hopefully they do add that later on and then finally with the spawns for sure need to be looked at. Honestly, the spawns have been causing me a lot of um, gripe and just complaints with the game so far. I'd say the spawns and player battle chatter are two of the biggest issues out of this list. Especially for Search and Destroy, it's very frustrating to know that your player literally screams the location of an enemy player and then they're aware that someone has spotted you. But at the same time, I do understand that the main goal for Modern Warfare this year is to engage in more tactical play. But the loud battle chatter is just a tad bit too much so hopefully that update comes out possibly by the end of the week to fix all of these issues. Now moving on to the update that buffed Dead Silence, I want to share some details on this. So before, even when you had Dead Silence activated, you could still hear a tiny bit of footstep volume, which was more than enough to basically just counter the field upgrade in general. But now, here are the updated footstep volumes with Dead Silence. So as you can see, Dead Silence is basically working as intended to now, except you should note that whenever you do go into the sliding animation, even if you have Dead Silence activated, you still will make a little bit of noise. Now just a few other things to mention, it does last about 15 seconds, but if you do happen to get a kill, then the Dead Silence meter is going to reset every single time. So definitely you want to activate that field upgrade whenever you're in an area that has a lot of people and maybe towards the middle of the map that has a ton of flow going 
going towards it. And yeah, essentially you can earn dead silence every single time for the duration of the game as long as you're getting a kill every 15 seconds. I may do a more in-depth guide on when to use dead silence plus some other hard stats about the field upgrade later on in the near future. So yeah, that's just a few updates guys to look out for when you play Modern Warfare. I do believe the next big update is going to take place sometime by the end of this week or next week addressing most of the complaints we have as players. And now for some stuff I'd like to see get addressed, one of which is the minimap complaints. It's fair to say that a good majority of players want the old minimap red dot system back and to this day fans are still tweeting to the Infinity War developers about this so maybe it'd be nice to see where they stand with this issue now that the game is fully released. Also I'd like to see a map vote to skip option like we've had in previous Call of Duty games and then lastly the ability to have a larger party size for the larger player based modes like Ground War for example. Those are just a few of my issues and my complaints that I would like to see be addressed guys but please tell me yours down below in the comments. Do you guys like these updates? Are they good for the game? Are they bad for the game? Just overall tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments guys. Love you all so so much. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time I'll see you guys later.